Hey guys, so this video is going to be kind of different from any video I've ever posted before because it's going to be mainly me talking about my journey on YouTube and uh, my goals and, and aspirations for where I want the channel to go. And um, yeah, it's weird because I've never in since I've made this channel in 2018, I've never made a video about me because I've always thought like no one is going to care and now we're at the point where i feel like someone is going to watch that someone will watch it why even try youtube when it's such a saturated thing right now and it's very hard to um you know break into anything and get any momentum um is because of that in itself you know it, it's a challenge and i feel like there's so many people that you know you look back into and it's just like so inspiring to see where they started and you know where they are today and i want to be one of those stories and i want to kind of just show you guys the person watching the video right now thank you you're much appreciated that anyone can do this like anyone even me i'm there's nothing special about me i'm not super funny i'm not super smart there, there's no like crazy advantage that i have even like the lights you see in the background, you know, nice camera. It's nothing that you need to get started. When I started, I, I didn't even know what kind of videos to make. Um, if you look back, don't look back, but if you look back, I, it was always a thing that I wanted to do. Like, man, yeah, I'll try a YouTube channel, but I never knew what to do. And even back then I was like, ah, gaming would be saturated. So I tried, uh, I made a reaction videos, basically. I made reaction videos. Um, it was to uh, Black Panther when that, movie was coming out there was a few trailers leading up to it and i made reaction videos to them because i it was easy um when i first uploaded that very very first video i, I didn't expect anything i expected zero views and to my surprise i got like a hundred something the first time i remember going to sleep and just like glued to my phone watching those views go up and not even like that much but a hundred something views for your very first video to, to me that was like oh my gosh like are, are you kidding me that's like the greatest thing ever you know like the dream is to like be a youtuber and i uploaded my first video and i got people watched me just react to whatever um and that was cool and i remember going to school the very next day like super paranoid like oh my god what if someone saw me what if someone saw me out of the hundred people on youtube again i didn't really know much about anything i knew the basics my dad knew how to edit videos and whatever so he knew like the basics so i was kind of like okay i know how to splice things up and put my face over here and blah 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 yeah i was always just thinking about what videos i could make i just was always afraid to pull the trigger on a lot of things so i was like i'll just stick to reaction videos for now this was my junior year of high school um so whenever a new trailer would come out i'd like to run home and I'd react to it because there's content i don't know just after a while uh with senior year i kind of just stopped and then people found out about my channel because i told a few of my friends and they told everyone so i i just didn't want to deal with it and i left it at that and then i tried going to college i went to college um to for real estate anyway point is i i went to go to college and to get a degree and in doing so i'm not saying you should do this but my first year I absolutely hated it. Like I was so unhappy in life. Like I I don't think I've ever been that unhappy um ever, you know, personally. Like I have an amazing girlfriend that I still have today, um Annabelle and you know, she got me through a lot of that, but at the same time um I was still going to school and not like being content with anything there. I felt like I was just wasting time um, in class. I was just, it, it was the same thing over and over again. You know, it was high school all over again. And I don't know, I, I wanted something more, something that if I did succeed at, I would be proud of because I wouldn't even be proud of myself if I like finished getting my degree. You know what I mean? Like, that's just something that a bunch of people do. And yeah, and then you go get a desk job 
And then, yeah, you, you just work and work and work for the rest of your life because you got bills to pay, blah, blah, blah. Regardless, I'm getting off track. Well, actually, I don't know. Am I getting off track? I said, okay, I want to do YouTube. Let's try it. I told my parents and they were not having it. They were like, nope, that's not happening. Um, and they really were against the idea of me <laughs> dropping out of school to try YouTube when I hadn't posted a video at that point in a while. But regardless, I just stopped going to school and I didn't know what to post. So I was like, okay, I play Apex Legends a lot, that one Battle Royale game. And first video I posted, I got like 3,000 views. What? So I went all in at that point and um, I just tried to make a bunch of videos because i was like okay well i got this many views on on this apex video let me try to just replicate that and keep going and keep going and keep going and then at that same time the pandemic happened so i wasn't going to school my job closed down because of covid so it was like well now i have to try youtube and see what i can do with it and from basically the start of the pandemic to now we have over 5,000 subscribers and a very uh, good amount of people who stick around um, from video to video, which is so awesome. Regardless of what I post, there are people that will be there for every video. And I can't thank you enough because uh, seriously, why else would I be trying if there wasn't someone on the other side of that screen, like rooting for me? You know what I mean? And the channel gets these few bursts of views and, um, you know, discovery. And people come in and they're like, oh, cool. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. That type of video that got them to my channel really has nothing to do with what I want to post. You know what I mean? Like, I'll post a tutorial video on how to unlock this and battle from blah, blah, blah. Or those Spider-Man clips, which were like, you know, 10 to 30 seconds long. Those got like 400,000 views. Crazy. But it had nothing to do with me. Um, and then when I did my Spider-Man live stream for like four hours, that got 20,000 views, which is more views than I've had on any live stream before. More people in a, a chat, a live chat than I've ever had. And it was kind of just like, I, I, I saw it. It's like I could see the future. Like all my dreams were like right there. I, got, I, I felt it in my bones. I knew that I could do it. Because I was like, if I can get to that point, and if I can keep an audience and just entertain them, like it wasn't like a bunch of people went on my stream and kind of just automatically clicked off. I feel like throughout this whole time, even though we don't have a crazy amount of subscribers or crazy views consistently, I think I've shown at least to myself that I can do this. And a lot of the times that's one of the things creators struggle with is just like, is this really even cut out for me? Like. Is it worth even trying? And one of the main struggles I've had is literally what type of content do I make? Because I've always wanted my videos to reflect me in some form. So, you know, the past few months I was uploading like, you know, superhero movie news or what I thought about this movie or like a review of this show because it was stuff that I liked um, or like reactions, but I just felt there wasn't any creativity. You know what I mean? There, there was nothing that I was making. I was only commentating on what people had already made. Like reaction videos. Those do moderately well compared to like if I did a random gaming video. I understand there's entertainment value somewhat in reactions. But for me personally, I just felt like I wasn't giving you guys what you wanted. So I took a step back and I was like, okay, what... Like, what, what do we make? Like, what do we do? So, in the past few videos, you've seen, I have focused more on making just entertaining content. I want to make videos that you look at, and if it had a million views, you'd be like, that's about right. Like, yeah. I want to make vi videos that are just legit videos that are entertaining. If it makes someone laugh, or just smile, or anything... I mean, that's awesome. So yeah, I kind of just want to be another example of someone who just tried and went for it and did it. Because even right now, I know there's so many people 
watching this that would kill to have 5,000 subscribers, you know? So, like, I'm just like you. Like, the fact that I have you guys watching is just mind-blowing in and of itself. I feel like the possibilities are endless for what we could do and what we could become. I really do think that the future is pretty bright for this channel and for this community and all you guys. Um, it's just insane. I've never made a video like this because I always thought there's no views in it and i was thinking about that and i was like well then what am i doing like who am i making it for like this is for my community you know the people who watch me so if i don't want to make a video that would be for my community like my other videos who am i making it for you know so i was like okay let me just make videos that i know my viewers would enjoy because that's what it's about it got to a point before when i was like why did i record that video like, I didn't really have fun making it, and I don't think my audience is going to really like it. But it's going to get me views, so, you know, it was that type of thing. So I'm like, okay, screw it, let's just make entertaining content, and we'll be rewarded, you know, down the road. That's how I see it. For any of you struggling um, on YouTube, just make what you want to make, genuinely. That's how you survive on YouTube. Reach out to people that are similar to you, and... Hope for the best i did it i'm doing it you know we, we don't have really anything to brag about but um i am proud of what we've done so far and you know the possibilities of what we could do what are the goals for this year um unrealistically i want to hit 100k 100 000 subscribers i just want to thank you guys each and every one of you that um has stuck around with me for a while um because i know there's some of you have, that have been with me for like months and months and months and that is not unnoticed seriously because you take the time out of your day to watch one of my videos that's awesome and hopefully you guys will stick with me when we do hit 100k or or a million um whenever that will be that's going to happen regardless of how long it takes we're gonna get there kind of running out of things to say but um, if there's anything you should take away from this is to just literally follow your dreams, as cheesy as that sounds. Um, you never know what could happen um, and why not try. Uh, yeah, that's my motivational speech or whatever. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. It means a lot. And um, I'll see you in the next one.